Sherman, it's clear that many are still seeking answers in all of this. JPSO tonight still combing through evidence. But what we do know is five were shot, three dead here at the gun range. A Saturday afternoon turning deadly here in Metairie. JPSO say a man walked inside of the Jefferson gun outlet with an unholstered loaded gun, which is not permitted. An argument occurred and the suspect then opened fire. Uh, we had one uh, initial shooter here at the scene uh, who hit two victims inside the location. Uh, both of them have been pronounced deceased here at this location. Police say people responded in self-defense. It appears that several individuals uh, ended up engaging that original suspect. A woman and two men died on scene, including the alleged suspect found dead in the parking lot. Two other men were shot and taken to UMC. I'm told they are in stable condition at this point in time. Uh, but from what I understand, I have multiple shooters here at this location uh, that were either customers, employees, or uh, individuals here at the location itself. We're told there are surveillance cameras inside of the range, which will aid officers in piecing together exactly what happened. When in a place like this, you're going to have multiple video cameras that will really cover every bit of it, being a gun range and also a place where you're selling weapons. So you want to pull that video, go back and review it, and really that video is going to give you everything that happened. Now, the family of the alleged suspects say that they're still trying to figure out exactly what prompted him to come out to the range. And, of course, this is a developing story for now. Reporting live from Metairie, Shea O'Connor, WDSU News. While family members of the victims and the alleged gunman in this mass shooting await some answers, we're learning more about the seconds of deadly chaos inside of the outlet. We continue our live team coverage with WDSU's Jennifer Crockett, who joins us live with the latest tonight. Instructors at the Jefferson Gun Outlet are being described as heroes credited with saving the lives of people who were taking a gun safety class inside of this range at the time of the mass shooting. All hell broke loose. It was not gunshot from the range. It was like guns in the hallway. And it went on for about 20 seconds. And uh, the instructors told us they hit the floor, they barred the door. Dan Bard says two of the gun safety instructors ran into the gunfire, a third staying with the class. Uh, one of them came back and asked for a tourniquet, which the lady was the other instructor gave him. And then about 10 minutes later, a trooper came up, a JP came up and uh, escorted us out of the building. On the other side of the barred door, the Jefferson Parish Sheriff's Department says four people had been shot, two of them killed. Oh, it's horrible. Yeah, this is insane. And I understand the guy had two kids with him, or one of the guys. It's just crazy. A third person, identified by deputies as the gunman, shot and killed in the parking lot. His family waiting for answers. Just crying. And I kept on saying, it's him, it's him, it's him. I don't know what happened, and I'm distraught. I, I just want to hold him while he's still warm. I want to tell him how much I love him. <laughs> The identities of the people who died here have not been released. Investigators reviewing that all-important video. Reporting live, I'm Jennifer Crockett. Back to you. My nephew is in there dead right now. I don't know details. Three people are dead and two injured after a shootout at a gun range in Metairie. Good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm Devin Bartolotta. Investigators in Jefferson Parish are still trying to piece together exactly what happened, but they know it began at the Jefferson gun outlet on Airline Drive around 3 this afternoon. That is where we find Duke Carter live tonight with more. Hi, Duke. Hey, good evening, Devin. What is a completely different scene than when we first spoke to you are earlier this afternoon at around 5 and 6 o'clock. As of now, investigators have picked up their things, and now the big question is what led to the incident here at the Jefferson Gun Outlet here in Metairie? We spoke with one person involved or related to the victim. Take a listen to what she had to say. I come out here to find out that my nephew is a victim. Janice Hutchison is shot and dismayed. Her nephew, Joshua Williams, is no longer alive. My nephew is in there dead right now. I don't know details. So I can't speak toward it. Details about what led to his death and the deaths of two others are still unclear. 
Now people pull out guns as if there's no such thing as real death. Our officials are still investigating exactly what happened here at the Jefferson Gun Outlet in Metairie. According to Jefferson Parish Sheriff Joe Lapinto, details are limited. Just before 3 o'clock, our office was dispatched to a shooting here. Deputies say an unknown suspect shot two people, a man and woman, dead inside the gun range. That led to a chaotic scene outside the building as the suspect and multiple others began shooting at each other. From what I understand, I have multiple shooters here at this location uh, that were either customers, employees, or uh, individuals here at the location itself. And we're, we're trying to put it all together and piece it together uh, with what we have in this developing scene. I want to see my child. In total, five people shot and three dead, including the suspect. The two men who survived the shootout were taken to University Hospital and are in stable condition. In the meantime, Hutchison is hoping gun violence ends. I lost an 18-year-old grandson to the violence about eight or ten years ago. So this is, it has got to stop. So the big question remains tonight is why did people involved in this shooting have passed away or are now in the hospital? So as of right now, once Jefferson Parish Sheriff deputies get all those details and get those information to us, well, of course, we'll let you all know. But as of now, reporting live here in Metairie, Duke Carter, Eyewitness News. All praise to the Most High, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rekakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who grew well. Peace and salutation to the brother of Hope Select, pushing his word of truth and sincerity. And uh, back with another uh, video and article on this uh, what this event that occurred down in um, Metairie, Louisiana, which is the next town over from New Orleans. Uh, you, you saw the, the news report in the opening clips, and that was with the, uh, the local news stations there. And I just want to catch this from the New York Times. It had like a, a detailed account. So check this out. It says three killed, including gunmen, in shooting at Louisiana gun store. Um, you you kind of got the point from uh, from from those news, uh, not the articles, but the the news station report. But um, listen to this. This one kind of gives a little detail. Uh, it says the office said the shooting happened just before 3 p.m. when a gunman fatally shot two people, a man and a woman inside the store. The gunman was then shot and killed by people either inside the store or in the parking lot outside, said uh, Joseph P. Uh, Lapinto, the sheriff of Jefferson Parish. I have multiple shooters here at this location that were either customers, employees, or individuals here at the location itself. And we're trying to put it all together, piece it together with what we have on the developing scene. Okay. Um, the names of three people who were killed were not released. Yada yada yada. Check this out. Uh, John Fishbach said his son Noah, 47, who worked at the store, had been killed in the shooting. He said his son had also worked with props and special effects in the film industry using his knowledge of firearms. He was a great kid and everybody loves him, Mr. Fishbach said. Tyrone Russell, 21, said he had been taking a class in the store in the hopes of getting his concealed carry permit when the shooting happened. All of a sudden, all I hear is a whole lot of gunshots which he said he had initially assumed were coming from the indoor firing range. He said staff members had told the students to go into a corner and everybody started panicking. Two instructors ran out of the class to see what was going on and he heard one of them scream, get down, put the gun down. That was followed by more gunshots, he said. It was like a real shootout, Mr. Russell said. That's what it sounded like when I was inside like the whole ground was rocking. Mr. Russell said he had feared that the gunman might come into the classroom and open fire. But the police arrived quickly and escorted the students downstairs and out of the building, he said. Mr. Russell said that his car had been shot up and that he had been had seen the gunman on the ground next to his car. Alright. Um... Bob Jean, the owner of the nearby Airline Skate Center, described 
the Jefferson Gun Outlet as a very nice, clean place. It says that the skating rink had not had to lock down after the shooting. The cops got everything under control. Louisiana, <laughs> Louisiana has reported the nation's highest murder rate for 31 straight years. <laughs> That's crazy. But Mr. Jean said the shooting was an anomaly in, the sec- in that section of Metairie, which was just outside of New Orleans. We have a very little crime in this entire area, Mr. Jean said. This is the first incident. It's a sign of the times, unfortunately. You see that? It says it's a sign of the times. Uh, the Jefferson Gun Outlet says on its website that it features an indoor shooting range with 14 lanes and a retail store with hundreds of firearms as well as large selection of shooting accessories, personal defense items, and reloading supplies. All right. I just brought that out to get a little more detail on uh, on what occurred too. Okay, so uh, I'm gonna hit a couple of scriptures and get on out of here. This is Sirach chapter thirty nine verse twenty eight. Uh, there be spirits that are created for vengeance, which in their fury lay on sore strokes in the time of destruction they pour out their force and appease the wrath of him that made them okay so um whoever uh you know those were that 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 perished in the shooting they didn't i guarantee you they didn't think that they were gonna die today or that day in their shooting okay but the spirits that the most high sent out for vengeance uh you know, to appease him, that wrath that he has, okay? That's what they were there for. And and none of us are above being taken out at any time. This is Proverbs chapter 16, verse 4. The Lord hath made all things for himself, yea, even the wicked for the day of evil. You know, because the Most High is balanced. He's good. He has good and evil. You know, he, he, there, there's a there's a particular purpose for every work in this earth that he does. Uh, this is Sirach chapter eighteen. I'm gonna start at one. He that liveth forever hath created all things in general. The Lord only is righteous, and there is none other but He. Who governeth the world with the palm of his hand, and all things obey his will. The left side obey his will, the right side obey his will. The righteous obey his will, the wicked obey his will. The unrighteous obey his will, the sinner obey his will. The deceiver obey his will, the deceived, the, uh, deceived obey his will. The beasts of the earth, the fowl of the air, the creeping things on the ground. All things obey his will. The spirits in the heavens. Okay. Satan himself obeys the will of the heavenly father. Uh, For he is the king of all. By his power, dividing holy things among them from profane. All right. This is uh, Sirach chapter 39, verse 18. At his commandment is done whatsoever pleaseth him, and none can hinder when he will save. Okay? When when uh, when the Most High wants something done at his commandment, it's going to happen. If it pleases the Most High, it's going to happen. No matter what. <laughs> Whatever he wants is what he'll get. Why? Because he is a creator. We are his creation. He can, he can get whatever he wants. Proverbs 20 and 24. Man's goings are of the Lord. How can a man then understand his own way? Okay? You might you might be driving and you, you end up taking an alternate route from what you used to taking, not through your own will, but of the will of the Heavenly Father. You know? You might be walking somewhere. <laughs> and 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 all of a sudden, once again, you just decide, hey, I'm gonna walk, I'm gonna walk this way instead of this way today. 
That wasn't of your own will. That was of the will of the Heavenly Father. All right? Everything in which he does is going gonna, is gonna to proceed. This is Isaiah chapter 14, verse 24. The Lord of hosts have sworn, saying, Surely as I have thought, so shall it come to pass. And as I have purposed, so shall it stand. So whatever he thinks in his mind, whatever he purpose, whatever he sets up, is how it's going to be. And ain't nothing you can do about it. So if he set it in the, in that uh, individual's heart to come in to come in that store, uh, come in that gun range and just start shooting and taking folks out, hey, that, that it is what it is. That was the will of the heavenly Father. But I will say this though, Matthew twenty six and fifty two, then say Yahweh shout unto him, put up again thy sword into his place. For all matter of fact, I'll start uh I'll start at 50. Matthew 26 and 50. And Yahweh shall say unto him, Friend, wherefore art thou come? Then came they and laid hands on Yahweh shall and took him. And behold, one of them which were with Yahweh shall stretched out his hand and drew his sword and struck a servant on the, uh, servant of the high priest and smote off his ear. So they done put their hands on Yahweh shall and to take him to crucify him. And he done cut... Uh, he done pick, took out his sword and cut his, cut his ear off. Then Yahweh shall said unto him, Put up again thy sword into his place. For all they that take the sword shall perish with the sword. See that? So, those who trust in the sword, that gun, Esau's blessing, you're going to perish with it. You know? So, you know, you go into the gun range and you feel like that's what's going to save you. Hey, Lord, he'll leave it to save you. You make sure uh, you make sure you depend on that. All right, all those that take the sword shall perish with the sword. So uh, once again, call hello, you have about Shema Shai, about Shema Kakudash, double honor to the Apostle Elder Great Millstone. Hope you're edified on this lesson here. Uh, see you back with another one. Shalom.